Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. There are a bunch of new food items for the month of February, including Tiana's Mardi Gras milkshake and some fresh gumbo over at the ABC Commissary. And then on top of that, a whole bunch of rare characters are now meeting and greeting guests, including Powerline Max. So I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this I have to say it is a beautiful day out today 85 degrees the perfect temperature to be hanging out at theme park and I can't wait to try some of the new food all of the new food Disney has been putting out to help celebrate soulfully looks incredible. We went to Disney Springs the other day, and like I said, it's not just there. It's all around the Walt Disney World Resort. So I'm very excited to try some of it here. They have like five different items, including that gumbo over at ABC Commissary. And I don't go there that often, so it's going to be nice to actually sit down and eat in there. And then on top of that, those cool character me agrees. So we're going to see if we can spot any of them. From what I saw, Max and Goofy are meeting right outside Galaxy's Edge. They might be in the back right now, so we're just going to wait and see. If you guys don't know, a Goofy movie is definitely my all-time favorite movie. I absolutely love it. And to be able to meet Maxi dressed up as Powerline, it is so cool because the only time I've ever been able to do that before was either at Moonlight Magic or a special event. But for him to be out during the day, it's so awesome. And he's with Goofy and he's dressed up in like his vacation outfit. So it's kind of like a Goofy movie, like photo opportunity and I think that's so awesome and I think that they meet until five o'clock every single day so you got to get here before five o'clock here comes Goofy look at him with his little vacation shirt on yeah Woo! Woo! <laughs> and here comes Max Woo! <laughs> I love it. There he is, Maxi. I got myself a notion. And one I know that you'll understand. You are my absolute favorite. Just so you know, I, I'm so happy to actually meet you. Yeah, I am. Oh, thanks, pal. Thank you. Seriously, and I love those glasses, too. Look at that. I should have wore my glasses today. Oh. Oh, you're too cool. You really are. You are honestly just way too cool. That's the best. Thank you, Maxie. Thank you so much. I kind of feel like I have a permanent smile on my face. I'm sorry I'm not the best singer, but I felt like I needed to pay tribute, and I had to sing a little bit of Eye to Eye to him. Man, that was great. I mean, I hope, he, I, I hope this is like a permanent thing. I think it's going to be permanent for a little bit, but like, I really hope he's always here. I've made my way over to Dockside Diner because this is where they have the Soulfully Hot Dog. It's a special dog that they actually serve here and it's a South African hot dog. Look at it right here. It looks really, really good. It's $12.29 South African uh, boars topped with sweet and spicy chocolate relish and it's on a Brio's bun. But unfortunately they're sold out. Sold out for the day so we might have to come back. We'll definitely stop back to see if they bring the hot dog back. They might have just ran out of one ingredient, but it's okay because right next to the SS down the hatch is actually where some of the more character, uh, new character meet and greets are. Oh, wow. They're coming out everywhere. Hello. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. Look at that. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Incredible there. Frozo up here. He's got his super suit on. We just walked right into this. Another thing I wanted to point out, if you noticed, the Disney Photo Pass photographers have a different colored shirt on, and I honestly like that. Because, I mean, when I was on vacation, I used to stop and get a photo with every single Photo Pass photographer when I bought the Memory Maker. And now, I feel like they stand out more. So, if I was like vacation Nate, I'd be like, ooh, there, there. Like, you know what I mean? They're more noticeable, and you won't miss them. Hey, how are you, Frozo? Having a good day? Yeah, I like your super suit. It looks very nice, very fancy. It's a little bit hot out today. I don't know how you're, I don't know how you're doing it. 
you gotta be, you know, working up some sweat over there or ice or water. Oh <laughs> yeah, you know. Very cool. Well, nice to see you hanging on a grassy knoll. I wonder if they're planning on doing another Incredibles movie. It's nice to see the characters out. Like we got to see Mr. and Mrs. Incredible and then Frozone. Of course, I had to mention the super suit. But I wonder if they are going to be doing an Incredibles 3 because I think I would like that. Darling, darling. It's so nice to see you on the grassy knoll. Thank you. Do you like my shirt? Is it stylish? Yes, it's very stylish. Yeah, yeah, trapper. Uh, retro, vintage. That's the way. Well, thank you. <laughs> wow, it's awesome that you get to see all of the incredible characters in one spot, but it makes me wonder why they're not using the old incredible spot that they actually had built for meet and greet areas. Why wouldn't they put them all down there? It kind of makes me wonder if they are planning on opening this back up because I'm going to show you guys down here. You can actually still see inside the window and you can see like the superhero suit like place where they have like all their superhero suits and glass. So this is probably just a test run. Like they're just kind of like working it out. But this is all the Incredibles area down here and there's nothing here. It's just empty. Right in here you can actually still see it's all set up in there. Look at it. This is where Edna Mode did her meet and greet, was actually in this building right here. And then they have plenty of areas to do like Mr. and Mrs. Incredible there, Frozone over there, all over the place. This used to be the old Toy Story Midway Mania entrance. Now we have Toy Story Land, and I think that's where we're gonna head next is over to Toy Story Land so we can get the new Pop-Tart at Woody's Lunchbox, which is like a sweet potato Pop-Tart for celebrating Soul Filet. And here it is, Woody's Lunchbox. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of these Pop-Tarts. I tend to think that they're a little bit dry. So I'm excited to see if this one's a little bit better. And here it is, the sweet potato Pop-Tart. Cinnamon brown sugar icing, toasted marshmallows, and they are toasted marshmallows, and then little candy pecans. Look at it, it looks actually really good. So I'm excited to actually break it open. All right, here it is. Let's break open this little pop tart. Give it a bite. Gotta get a little bit of everything in one bite. It is good. Still a little dry though. But I do like the frosting. Honestly, this tastes just like a Thanksgiving like pop tart. Like it is, I feel like it's a Thanksgiving day pop tart. It's really good. I think all the Pop-Tarts are like dry though. And every time I get one, there's not a lot of filling in there. Maybe if it had a little bit more filling. My favorite is probably the pecans and the marshmallows on top. But it's good to try. It's good to give it a go. Enough of the Pop-Tart business. It's time to move along. It is a good Pop-Tart. It's just I don't like it. I always think they're all dry. Like every one that I try. But now I want to go over to the ABC commissary and I want to try the gumbo. And I'm hoping that gumbo is as good as Port Orleans because that's some of the best gumbo I've ever had. And I think they needed something else to put inside ABC commissary. Like I barely ever go in there. I remember for the longest time they were actually trying to make the ABC commissary a sit-down restaurant. Like you had to get a reservation at the My Disney Experience app. But now it's just a walk-up quick service that serves like tacos and gumbo. I mean the gumbo is just as special, but they always have like pork carnitas here and Mediterranean salad, a California burger, all the fancy stuff. And I kind of like just coming in here. The gumbo itself is $10.99 and I don't think it's like a cup of gumbo. I think it's a pretty big portion and of course it comes with the rice and I'm excited to try it. I do love me some gumbo. And here it is. Look at that. It actually looks pretty decent. I see lots and lots of sausage in there and uh, the rice is, I mean it's a pretty good portion for only $10.99. Let me try to mix it around a little bit and see what we got going on there. Oh yeah, the consistency is very thick. I can't wait to dive in. Give it a go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna grab a little rice, a little bit of the gumbo, a little bit of everything in one bite. Look at that, it, it's dripping. That's good gumbo. That's good gumbo. I do like this. I like the meat in here too. Good soup. 
I met up with Kristen right down Main Street and she got the gumbo too. I'm so excited to try it. I love the gumbo at Port Orleans. I've, I've been obsessed with it recently. So I'm curious to see how this stacks up. Yeah, your gumbo looks good. It has more vegetables than your gumbo, I think. It does. Yeah, mine got more meat. Mine's got the more meat. He needs the meat. <laughs> the meat. <laughs> as much as I like this gumbo, I can't say it's better than Port Orleans. I mean, it, it tastes good, but it reminds me more of like a stew. It's it's, it's much more thicker, and uh, the the base doesn't have like a, like a kick to it. Like it doesn't have that taste to it. So, I mean, it's still good though. It's actually something I would probably get when I come to Hollywood Studios. This might be the best quick service meal you can actually get on property because there's not many good quick service locations here at Hollywood Studios. For all those people out there who like to keep their food separated, I'm about to make you cringe a little bit by just mixing this all together. Just get it all together, look at that. A little bit of everything. Gotta get every single piece of rice covered that's the way you guys should watch me eat my super crackers i'm gonna be so excited to see if we can get some gumbo in the magic kingdom eventually oh. that'd be good I, i'm all team beignets and gumbo at the magic kingdom when tiana's bayou adventure opens up so fingers crossed for a second there i thought that was a big group of disney photo pass photographers walking by Enough of the gumbo business. It's time to move along and I kind of want to do a ride or an attraction The wait times are high on everything. So I think maybe we'll go do Muppets Haven't done that in a while and I think there's a new gelato stand down there an actual new like food stand that they added right to Grand Avenue And here it is look at that a nice little gelato stand. I don't know what kind of flavors they have cookies and cream chocolate lemon mint chocolate chip Oh, what's the flavor of the day? Apple pie. Apple pie? Yep. Wow. That's actually really good. A scoop is at $7.50. And this is nice. Maybe after Muppet Vision, I might grab myself a little gelato. I mean, I'm, I, I do like gelato, but I'd rather just get ice cream, you know? But the mint chocolate chip sounds good and the apple pie. I want to keep up on this, though. I want to see if there's actual, like, flavors of the day. So every time I come to Hollywood Studios, I'm stopping at that stand, and I'm going to make a track record of the flavor of the day. But look at this, the only ride at Hollywood Studios that doesn't have a 30 minute plus wait. I like it. Kristen, you don't like it so much? Am I a man? Oh yeah. Last call. Oh, last call. <laughs> last call. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's kind of cool to see it all like this too. I don't think I've ever not waited in the line before about this. Right? And we got to sit in the front. Front. Yeah, it's the best spot. The reason I like the front row so much is because we get to see Sweetums actually come out. He's like right there. He's like literally two feet away from us. And I love this show. Honestly, I think it's such amazing 3D. This is the last thing Jim Henson ever worked on. This was his final project. Isn't that crazy? It and it's still here. I hope they never take it away. Look at the guy in the goofy mask. That's not a mask. I'm running away. Nobody would let me help. You. Can't you hear me? Stop the projector!
honestly, that is such a good show. Just the effects inside of it, the way they demolished the whole entire theater at the end there. I don't know if you've seen the walls. Like, they had uh, a bunch of holes in it from the cannonballs. And plus, getting up close to Sweetums. That's why I like sitting in the front row. I really do love that. I hope they really don't touch this area. I, I mean, I don't see why they would have any reason to. Uh, this is the only Muppets thing that they got going on besides Magic Kingdom. So it's not like they're going to phase out the Muppets, you know? Now we're going to make our way back to Echo Lake and see a guy about a hot dog. Hopefully they're back in stock. I think we have been bamboozled because Dockside Diner is closed. It actually closed at 5 o'clock. I guess I'll never know how that hot dog tastes. I mean, I could come back, but it's funny though because when we asked about it, they said that they might bring it back to stop back and check out before five. So I guess we just missed it, but I didn't realize that it was five o'clock. They also have a banana split parfait, which I would have loved to get too. I guess that leaves us with one more thing to get. That is Tiana's Mardi Gras milkshake. And it's a milkshake with a king cake on top. So I'm excited to see if it has a baby or not in it. First. Ran into some friends having a good day. Did you get to see Max of with that? Of course, it was such oh, a great movie. I enjoyed seeing Max. Yeah. I hope it's permanent. I know that's what I said. They need to do. Yeah, they need to have a, a permanent like right, power line Max power out. Line yeah. Room and stuff. Can you imagine? Oh that would be dope. Yep. I mean, I'm excited. But yeah, it was nice seeing you guys. Definitely. Thank yeah. You. Booster production. Anthony's vlogs from Orlando. Bada bing. See you guys. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Have a good one. Thank you, Mr. Martin. <laughs> All the way down here at Hollywood Scoops is where the Tiana milkshake is. And it looks so quiet here, but Tower of Terror is a 115 minute wait. I still think one of the tower shafts is down. Oop, I almost stepped up on something, but there was no step there. You ever do that before? These milkshakes don't have a good reputation of being delicious. In fact, a lot of people always say they're like warm milkshakes because I think they just pour them out of a machine. But uh, they always have like a nice little like donut on top or a cake. That's they're what they warm. have. They're yeah, they're warm. like warm milkshakes. It's like warm whipped cream almost. Yeah, it's not ice cream. It's, it's like soft serve, kind of. And here it is, Tiana's Mardi Gras milkshake. It's like a cinnamon vanilla milkshake, and there's the king cake on top. This is a big milkshake. Look at that. Uh-oh, it's dripping. The Florida sun is getting to it. We're losing it. We're losing Oh, my Lord, I'm losing it big time. Oh, my Lord. I literally have no time. I have to drink this now. Oh my lord. It's actually really good. I like it, but like my hand, look at my hand. Look at this. And look at the ground. I don't even do I literally just had it for uh, less than a minute. It's not even hot out. Yeah, it's not even hot out. Less than a minute. I wish Gracie was here. She definitely licked my hands clean. She likes to get the little pup cups whenever she goes to Starbucks. Look at this. Now I gotta go wash my hands before I even finish the milkshake. All right, I'm gonna go in for the king cake here. This is such a mess. It's such a, I can't even get it out. Oh, there we go. I doubt that there's actually gonna be a uh, little baby inside here, but holy moly, look at this. I guess we're gonna go in for a bite. The cake is good. This is really good. Like, other than the milkshake, it's just fun to dip it in there. A little bit messy, but that's okay. Honestly, the only thing that I think is great about the milkshake is probably the cake, and that's how I always feel, even with like the donut and stuff like that. It's, I mean, it's a nice, it looks really pretty, it tastes pretty good, I just wish it was colder and not so messy. Like, I'm not even kidding, like, if you think I'm taking a million photos, I've had this for less than two minutes, and that's the damage that you have seen. It's definitely been about two minutes, right? Two or three minutes. It, it happens quick, and it's not even hot out. Like I said, it's 85 degrees out. Now that I've officially cleaned myself all the way because I was just full of whipped cream, I think we're going to keep moving along and find something else to do. Maybe another ride, maybe a trip to Baseline, anything actually. It's so beautiful out. I kind of just want to watch the sunset happen here at Hollywood Studios. The perfect place to come and just get ourselves a little drink where everybody knows your name. Baseline. <laughs> 
after sitting at baseline for a little bit, I was looking over the wait times, and everything is still a high wait time, except for good old Star Tours. A nice little five minute wait, which honestly, that's not too bad. I mean, five minutes a walk on for any ride is actually a really good deal, but like everything else, Tower of Terror is 140 minutes, uh, Slinky Dog Dash is like 95 minutes, same thing with Rise of the Resistance. It's been so hard whenever I come to Hollywood Studios anymore. I want to ride more rides, but I don't want to wait over 100 minutes, you know? It's so awesome being able to just walk through here right now. Look at that with the moon. That's actually a really photogenic like picture right there. Kind of looks like the uh, ad ad is shooting at something. Or do you call it ATAT? -AT? I hear that in Star Wars lore that uh, it's canon to say ad ad and ATAT. -AT. But what is the proper way of saying it? I love this though. And I like just being able to stroll through. Oh, it's shooting. Look at that. You get to just like kind of just stroll through here. No rush because there's nobody waiting in line. Everyone's doing Tower of Terror. If they ever decided to put like a little walkthrough attraction over here, I think that would be so cool. Like climbing through the Ewoks tree houses. That'd be a nice little play area, don't you think? I, I mean, it's something I always talk about. They used to have the Honey I Shrunk the Kids play area here. So I feel like they need to add something back. It's crazy how a ride can be this empty and then wait times be over 100 minutes. Look at this. Will the owner of the red and black it's completely of empty. It's a, it's, a, it's a complete walk on. <laughs> and I like Star Tours. At one time, this was cutting edge. I mean, this was ahead of its time, you know? Got an R2D2 up there. But at least let's say, Maybe eventually some of the Splash Mountain animatronics will end up here. Just like these little guys. I have a feeling I might be the rebel spy this time. I have a hunch. We'll see if it works or not. I don't want to stab myself in the eye though. But look at that. Perfect. We're heading on in. Okay, I think it's gonna be me. I'm ready. Oh! <laughs> it was me! I'm the rebel spy! <laughs> That was incredible. I can't believe I was the rebel spy. I'm never the rebel spy, but I noticed that it was like a very, it was like the ride itself was only like three quarters of the way full. So that's why I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, all right, this is the time it's gonna happen. Like there were so many empty seats in there. So like my number, the, the, the numbers were in my favor and it happened. I'm so excited. I got a picture of it too. I got a video on my phone because I was like, all right, if any time it's gonna happen now. As I was making my way out, I wanted to stop in to see if they had any of the new Disney 100 stuff. But then, this little sign caught my eye. Vans items are 40% off. And if you guys recall, I've been rocking the Mickey Vans for a while. And just look at this right here. Happens to be in my size. Look at that. 40% off. I think I'm getting them. 40% off, what, how much are they regularly? I think they're like $59.99, so that means they're gonna only be $30. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I mean, they were still like $29, but that's not a bad deal for Vans, and I love them. I love the ones that I'm wearing now, so now I got both pairs, and I also got the new hat as well. This was also 40% off. So originally priced, it was like $34.99. 40% off and it was under 20 bucks for this nice little hat and I like it. It's kind of the style I've been rocking off the wall. You know what I mean? I like it. I like it. 
Daddy likes it. <laughs> And with that, I think we are done here today. It was a fun time hanging out at Hollywood Studios. I got to become the Rebel Spy. We tried a lot of new food items and just generally had fun. So we're gonna keep doing more videos as we go around Walt Disney World, covering the different Celebrate Soulfully food items because they have them in Animal Kingdom, they have them at Magic Kingdom, a little bit at Epcot. So there's definitely a lot to cover there. And I love eating all the delicious food like everything has been absolutely amazing and I want to keep on showing you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye hello is there a pretty princess home <laughs> there she is what are you doing <laughs> What are you doing? Huh? Are you happy to see me? What are you doing? Let me see that butt. Oh, oh, you hit the little thingy. She loves those stairs. What? You do love those stairs, don't ya? Yes, you do. What? Oh, oh yes, you want a treat? Do you want a pup cake? Do you want a pup cake? Come on. <laughs> do you want a pup cake? Huh? There she is! You want it? Huh? What? <laughs> You're so funny.